I want to walk you through the administrative settings for the Fortson theme and talk a little bit about the core features of Fortson that make this theme stand out above the rest. Under Appearance and Fortson, you have uh, your theme settings here. Okay. Fortson comes with a few uh, handcrafted presets that work specifically with Fortson and they um, all are unique and custom styled. In addition to that you can drag and drop and upload your own bootstrap presets and those should work with Fortson as well. On the colors tab We've added um, some color pickers, choosers, I should say. And you can go through and you can see that almost every major element of the design, you can pick a color and it will um, change for the theme. The next tab over is menu settings. And this is a um, this course drop down. So Basically, it allows you to add or delete certain uh, menu items. So, for instance, um, let's just dive into one of these courses here. And we're going to go into, let's go into our English course here. This is the This Course dropdown, and we've enhanced it. Typically, when you look at themes, you will see um, a in a, this course drop down, you'll see a listing of assignments, um, forums, all the activities that you would add into a course. Well, we've enhanced it so that when you're a teacher, you can see user enrollment. It takes you right into the user enrollment, group management, your question bank, as well as uh, question categories. Now, these menu items only show up if you are a teacher or have the capability to access and make changes on these areas. Okay, students do not see that. This tab right here in the administration panel allows you to customize what links show up and in the future we plan on um, uh, possibly expanding this based on feedback. The content areas allows you to add things to um, enhance the visuals of the theme. So for instance, do you want to show or hide the homepage search box? You can turn that off. The enhanced course display, that's brand new in the latest release. And what that is, is these icons that appear for course categories, that's part of it. It also changes the way that um, uh, available courses show up on the home page. You can see very stylized. Each course allows you, if you upload an image into the course settings, we utilize that image uh, in the theme. And not only does it um, become part of the course uh, display here, it also becomes part of the course header image. You can see up here at the top, it makes that uh, image uh, part of the course header. And then when you're inside a course category, this is how they display. Now you can see um, each one has a um, title. It uses the course image as well as uh, the course summary. If you don't have a course summary, this is what it looks like. And so that is this enabled enhanced course display. You can pick the height, you can trim the title. So for instance, if you only wanted 40 characters, you can do that and you can add this course title tooltip. What the tooltip does is when the course is trimmed, so it's only 40 characters, but your course title is more than 40 characters, the tooltip will appear and it will show the entire course title. 
You can also trim the course summary so we can make it small, you know, uh, less characters if you want. And then you can pick some icons. These are font awesome. So you can go through and just pick which one you want. And these display, for instance, in the header. So right here, this is the header title. And that's set to clone. The course section icon, let's take a look at where that is. So if we go into a course, let me go into a course here. So this icon right here, this folder open, that appears next to each topic or week. And that is determined right here. So you can change it to graduation caps. You know, in the category icon, you can change that to graduation caps. And then you have some text boxes that you can fill out. And we'll just save those changes. And we'll move on to the next tab. So custom image settings. Here is where you can set the, um, the height of the header. You can upload a default, a new default header image. So if you don't like this blue arts, artsy kind of image, you can upload your own. You can also upload a a page background image and a default login image. So on the login page, it does a full screen image. You can change that right here. That's custom image settings. On the social networking, you can add in your social networks. Those all appear at the bottom of the front page. Here is the icon navigation. Now, these are the items that you saw on the home page right here dashboard calendar badges these this this is the page that allows you to make changes so the special course creator button that is done right here the special slide icon button so remember you saw those three videos on the home page right here that is all set right here. So you pick the icon, you pick the text, and then you fill in the content that you want to reveal. And then you can add up to eight different icons. The first four we provide as examples, but you can come in and make changes. And you can see there are up to eight different spots. And last but not least are these marketing tiles. So you can uh, pick, uh, do you want them to appear at the top of the page or at the bottom of the page? Um, the difference between that is when they appear at the bottom of the page, they appear below any of the default Moodle front page settings. So you know when you're in Moodle and you go to edit settings for the front page, and you can pick any one of these items, okay? Those items appear right here. So course categories, available courses, and then do you want the marketing tiles to appear above or below these default items? Okay, that is what this setting does. And then you can fill out your information right here. And you can include all these items and it will display for um, the marketing tiles. And you can do up to six marketing tiles. So this is the default uh, settings for uh, the forts and theme. We've had a lot of fun making this, and we you can see right now the tool tips are showing up, and you can see this course, it's cut off at so many characters, but the tool tip shows you the entire um, course title. So if you don't have very long course titles, 
you may not even need the tooltip, which is why we provided the setting to turn it on and off. And again, as you drill down into some of these different categories, this is what it will look like with the tooltip. Um, and we, you can notice that we trimmed the course description, uh, the su course summary as well. Um, these tend to look a little bit more uniform now because we've trimmed some of the text, which is why we provided some of that uh, those settings for you. So I hope you enjoy the forts and theme. This is for Moodle 3.2 and above, and uh, thank you for watching.